Because Mahasana, you must obey your government, must go now. But you want to stay, I will see that you won't need it here. He stayed all that. Ten times you go near him, you go near another word is going. And say, he used to say, you know, mean, just mean speaking. She, she, is, she was woman, but she won't address herself as woman. Baba Jan was telling somebody, you know, one man is trying to have a man. She never called herself as woman. Did you go see him? Did you go oh. see him, Baba Jan? Yeah, I did everything. Well, uh, Baba Jan. Ah, very nice. Very feature is her hair. I used to go, I remember, <coughs> I used to go to Ankar, I used to, when I was poor, I used to go to school, before Baba, we knew Baba is Baba, and at that time Baba used to tell us, go to, yes, we used to see God, how to see, go to her. So we used to go, every time we used to at that time Baba Jan, Sometimes used to get wild, used to hit somebody, throw so fire, fire to store anything, abuse, abuse as a male, abusing to who, uh, anybody, male. She was just a male. And uh, she was abusing anything. So the crowd went, they, they see the Baba, Baba is moved to anger, they, every crowd was away from her. When she is quiet, they used to go near her. <clears throat> so I was, I was young. And so I was afraid to go also sometimes. <coughs> my mother used to say, go and go. Once I remember, with my friend, I went to cinema in the city. Where first Baba Abhajan used to <coughs> stay in the city. And she used to come, where well, now in the camp, she is under a tree. Every morning she would come, in the evening she would go. And they used to pass from her house. So, I used to see her when she was passed from my house. I used to go with her, go about a mile, about two miles with her, and come back. Once, with my friend, school friend, three of us, went to cinema. And that cinema was near where she was staying, sitting under a tree in the mosque. There was a mosque there, and after there was a tree, and one cord was kept for her. She was sitting there. Once, uh, when I went with my friend to school, uh, for a cinema, come on, let's go. I said, come on, nearby, Bhavaji is there, come on. I was telling about Bhavaji. What, what I heard from Baba, I used to tell them. Because I was so expert and I know everything, I used to tell them. Uh, oh, Bhavaji is God, this thing, let me come on, if you go near him, he will help us, this thing, let me, I used to tell the boys. Baba is a man and he's a man who wants to everything, everybody is eating and he's a man who is a god. And I come on. When we went there in the chimney, that time, Bajan bed was kept on the roadside. The bed was removed from the tree and was kept there. And that time, she was sitting on bed. And she was busy. Everybody, crowd was scattered. Long sir. She was also busy and busy. Then the three fellow, then from inside, I was afraid of how to go here, how to approach her. And I, I was both bossing, bossing with the boys. I was in the boys, come on, I can take you, come on, don't afraid. Come on. And now when I saw the scene, I myself was inside, I was afraid. I made up my courage now to show these boys, now I'm something, so I went slowly here. Yeah. As soon as I went there, Bhavan was calm, he put my, uh, her hand over my head, come on, bacha, bacha, oh, child, come and sit here, near her bed, huh? I was a bit from inside, uh, some ego came to my, uh, so everybody is killing me, Bhavan is telling me, so I saw my friends, come on, come on, come on, you are so, afraid, so one came near, but afraid to approach Bhavan. Yeah.
to show the boys, now I am something, so I went slowly there. And so I went there, Pahan was come, he put my, uh, her hand over my head, come on, bacha, bacha. Oh, child, come and sit here, near the bed. I was a bit from inside, uh, some ego came to my <laughs> So everybody's coming in Bahan's bed. So I saw my friends. Oh, you are so, you are afraid. So one came near, but afraid to approach Bahaya. Near the bed. Come on, come on. Bahaya, who put a hand on me, he, after a few minutes, he used to abuse some other way. That's it. Face the other way, he was busy. As soon as he turned up, how much you had. So every car was looking at how this boy is went there and sitting here, Bawaja on the chair, caught, and Bawaja doesn't say anything to him. And he says, he won't allow anybody to come near her. I'm saying for a few minutes, I have my friends come on here. So they are from one came here, and now the others too. He said, no, I am not, I won't go from there. To hear all the abuse, I am not going. Then after a few I had to leave. Mahara said, I want to have a beer. And he says, come on, go. I came to God, I said, you are from the tree from, because you got love for God, they won't be. So if you are everywhere in love, Mahara will be busy. So I loved her, and I went there. See, she called me, she asked this. We have a lovely thing, come with it. But I had to see the man and all this thing. See, everything, God has been busy. I still don't know. And this abuse is a blessing. Yeah, I told her. No, Baba is not allowed. So I. This is the Baba. And once Baba Jan, we used to go in the evening. So, uh, at that time, I was saying, I was going up after a few years back. Every evening I used to go to Baba Jan. So, uh, at that how time, old, how old were you about that time? At that time, first, uh, that time I was 14 or 13, 14, 15. First in the first cinema, cinema. But afterwards, on the age of 76, 17, almost 17. Uh, I went to Bhavaja and I used to go every night. Every night. So one, uh, those in the Bhavaja, they used to go to Bhavaja and others used to come there. They used to offer tea. But uh, what the Monday knew, those people knew, near her, they used to count how many years are, how many people are sitting. Because Bhavaja never took tea alone. If you offer tea, you have to give all those sitting here. If they have two days, you have to give all the two and then last you will take. This was routine and everybody knew. So they used to come on the head and go and bring the tea. Tea shop was the opposite. They go to bring the tea. The tea was the tea shop was the only order. It was a big small tea. They used to bring the tea cup. And the, the man who offered, he, he come up. And give the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is a thing. He gives you some more. Call someone. Give the boy a diploma. He says, come on. Suppose you are three, four players sitting here. They were, he won't give you. He calls someone from there. I want to. So I was already late. I used to sit behind. So as soon as he saw, I used to get. And before I used to get, I had my anchor. He bought this one. So one day what happened? Bhavaja gave me me tea. Once gave me tea. But after tea, uh, she gave me two biri. Biri smoke. And you know, in Parsi Zorasen, we don't smoke. Now you go. But being from my childhood, I was this is also on my mother's side. My mother's side. Mother, Baba's mother, they are very orthodox. Orthodox. Uh, 
సో స్మోకింగ్ వీట్ ఆర్ నాట్ టు స్మోక్ సో బాగా జరిగింది సో ఐ న్యూ సార్ కాన్ గిఫ్ట్ ఎనిబడి కాన్ త్రూ ఇట్ అవే బాగా గిఫ్ట్ ఐ కేమ్ హోమ్ ఐ కేమ్ హోమ్ ఐ వాజ్ సింగ్ విత్ మై ఆంటీ బికాస్ ఐ లాస్ మై మదర్ ఐ వాజ్ సింగ్ విత్ ఆంటీ బాబా ది ఎల్డర్ ఎల్డర్ బ్రదర్ జంసీత్ ఐ వాజ్ సింగ్ విత్ హిమ్ ఐ జంసీత్ బాగా గేమ్ ఇన్ దిస్ థింగ్ వాట్ టు డు ఐ డోంట్ నో ఐ కాన్ సింగ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఫర్ యు నో టు వాట్ వి హావ్ యు హావ్ టు టాక్ ఫర్ ఐ బెట్ ఐ హావ్ నో ఐడియా నో I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Open their spirit, take the tobacco out, chew it, give it a mouth, and spit it out. Give that. Then I eat it. Ah, then I eat it. I took that, took out the tobacco, give it a mouth. But he said, at night before you go to bed, do this thing, and when you get here, give you something, Wash your face and go to bed. Ah, so, the night before going to bed, I saw two brothers, two pieces, two children. So something, this is a good insight. I saw it was giving us, I saw it was my face, clean my face, go to bed. Next day I went, next day I went, Bawa Jan, give me my heart, heart. I was praying, Bawa Jan, don't give me, give me something else. <laughs> When I went there, sitting there, I was bad. Please inside, Baba, please don't give, Baba Jan, please don't give me baby today. Save the call bill from the child, take this. Baby, sir? Baby, yeah, two baby. Baby, two baby. I came home. Some say, again, Baba Jan, give it to me. Same, go on. Same thing like this. Then the third time, when I said, now Baba Jan is too much, huh? and they said, I think he's going to be tea or something. Hmm. And once then she removed, she used to wear so many rings. Rings. And all the fingers were able to find all the rings. The cheap and the cheap though. So once she removed the rings and put it in my hand. She removed the ring and put it in your hand? Uh, put it in your finger. Uh, what is it mean? Right. No, no, no. That's long ago now. It was all the pieces now. Because one of the pieces that I made surgery, I used to say it and say, I used to wear all the time. Bathing, I didn't think, I never used to remove from my finger. Because Baba Jaya had put it, I never used to remove. But it took a piece of the cheap one there, it gone worse from me. And I kept it somewhere else. Now Baba Jaya think, and I must keep it. Because we had so many, and everybody used to say, so cheap, what is this cheap thing? I said, what cost is he? You don't know cost. I won't tell you. I never used to tell anybody. What is this? I keep. I remember the thing, Baba Jan. And sometimes he used to catch his back, her back. See, Baba Jan used to catch her back for hours together at night. From midnight, Baba, from midnight, he used to catch her back. Baba Jan. He used to pull like this. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, all together. From midnight to early morning. When midnight, everybody used to go away. And Baba was alone. Baba used to scratch, scratch. He was like, because he never used to take bath. But we never uh, got sting or anything from our body. No, it's not. So, okay. so sometimes he used to ask me also. I used to say, uh, yeah. yeah. This is when you were about 17, huh? 17, 18? Ah, uh, when I was scratching back here, yeah. between 17. Hmm. Yeah. How do you like him? She never said to you. Hmm, Tajan Sabri, she used to live in Nagpur. Tajan Maharaj. He was in Nagpur. She was from uh, North India, Balchistan. Yeah. Ah, uh, Baja. She was from Afghan or something. She was very good family from big family, princess family. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, they, his family wanted to marry her. 
She doesn't want to marry. And she was very beautiful also. She ran away from her. And she came somewhere north, in the south side. She was on one side. And some Punjab or somewhere she came. And there, after a long time, when she was old, there some military people, those were Punjab military Indian military, that was British uh, rule, they were military the army, but the Indian troops. So those Indian Punjabi, they were not, they knew, they used to go to one, then she began to say, I am God, and this thing, and this. they didn't believe. Okay. They say, you see, they God, all these things. So she, they buried it. Buried there. Oh, body is too old, they dug the well, they buried it there. You don't know this. And what happened, same regiment was transferred after a few months and three. They were transferred to Pune. And they saw the buried, nice they buried away. You don't know this. And when they come to Pune, when they were passing, buried, going, they saw under a tree, Bhavaya and Sri. A tree woman is there, who was saying, I am a god and this thing, and he buried her. So they were in the uniform, military, they passed away. They came to bed, all of them get together and they spoke, what is this? The woman will buried there, and she's here now. How did it happen? We are at the last moment we are there, we know that we are asking how this is this. So then they say, you see, what she said, it was all right. The, the evening, they all think came. Back the power, Baha, I'm sorry. This is a story what we heard. A part of five stories, I don't know about this story. What is the relation to Tajim Baba? Tajim is separate. So he was in India from me. Uh, he was in Nagpur, and she was not Indian. Yes, sir. Not Indian. She was not from India. She was in Afghanistan. Did she know that? No, 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 no. No contact. The Maharaj, the Bhavaja, no contact. No contact? No, Bhavaja and Maharaj, no contact. I entirely they might be able. But outside, mm. no contact. No contact. Uh, 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 nine miles. Nine miles near Pune. About few miles, or 10, 30, 40 miles from Pune, the nine miles was leaving. But they had no contact with each other. Internally, there was one of you can't say, you don't know anything about that, but outside, no contact. Only Upasthi Maharaj, God contact with Sai Baba. God realization through Sai Baba. At that moment he contained, then, then he came few miles away from Sai Baba, he stabbed his ashram. After Sai Baba dropped his body, he stabbed his ashram. Basma. What will Baba John's habit? I mean, he just stay in that one place all the time? I mean, how did, I mean, he must have had a pit hole, he must have had all different places to go. He was going somewhere. You know, we are not staying all the time. If you always used to see, but you see, they never took a bath. They had no home. First, he used to go in the evening in the uh, city, but then she left and she stayed all the time there. And there, she was sitting on the ground. There was one water beer, you know, Municipality water and tape, the meter was there, and there was cover, trees cover was there. On that she was sitting. And then, then Baba made a platform, wood platform. Baba brought one mattress for Then they will find the mattress, someone pinched it away. Because they, no one knew about her. So they would pinch his anything. Anybody used to give something, then they would go and find there's nothing there. And then she used to give it away, and somebody used to pinch it away. You see, all the open, you know, in the rain, monsoon, winter, summer, all the time, and that. Did she get sick or she get trauma? Never. 
In our verse, in the beginning, now everything is gone. In the beginning, when the woman gets menstruation, they keep roof. They don't move in the house, they don't cook, they don't touch anything. After bed, after other things. After menstruation, they take bath. Then they touch everyone and everything. You never suppose. So at that time, my mother was also one, my mother was mother also. So, <coughs> I was seeing my mother was sitting as a So she was very anxious when I go and see her. <coughs> so, and she thought that all people dying every day. She used to hear so many people dying every day. Every, Fifty, forty people dying in Pura. Oh, Pura was empty now. So said many people ran away. Some of them. So my mother was actually. And so it was her period of so on. She took cold bath. Although she had a customer, she took cold, cold bath and be near me. She came. And I was all right. And she got me. She was sick. And I was all right. And she was sick. The boy is so busy, come every day, he's so come, boy is coming, so he's going to talk with her. Then he said, fine. He told her, he said, boy, ah, when are you going to take me to Upasa Maharaj? You don't take me to Sai Baba, now take me to Upasa Maharaj, when are you going to take me? She is her father. Yes. Don't worry, I think. The one man was very serious here. So one day she brought something from Maharaj. He had something. She gave to her. He put it with his own hand in her mouth. She did. And don't worry, you, in the morning you'll be all right. Don't worry. In the morning she was body. Same just like the nymphs. In the morning you'll be all right. Until you don't worry. You say, you give the mercy, don't worry. Masmilanti, Vitana, Masu, don't worry. You'll be all right. Take this in the morning, you'll be all right. Don't worry. Then we'll show her the plan. In the morning, no more. Uh, because I remember I was standing near him, near bedside. And they were talking, I was listening. I remember. I was all right. Take this from my, take this, you'll be all right tomorrow. And the second time I heard about nuns. Yes. Don't worry, for morning you'll be alright. Completely alright. Completely you'll be alright. You got to Papa. Yeah, what happened in 1938? Uh, uh, in uh, Muhammad Pajani. And he said, he gone, I don't he call me or send me a letter and said, I want to pay a bill in that water tank. There is a water, water tank. Bill over a building. Wants to. And with that, some tower like thing. You know that tower? Only some of the tower from a from long as you can see in building. So, vessel be a vessel woman. I want to stay, there is no room for a woman. There has been no in and all the people, they have to stay there. Build this. And build that tomb. The tomb place was there, where in 1927, Baba dig that ground and there was wall. Same place, you know, wall and tin tree was there. Tin tree was there. Roof. Tin roof was there. And one window only, one door, front door. And now, see, in 1927, and that time I remember when Baba was there in 1927, he stayed there for long. He used to, he used to step down and over, over the feet, then he used to, a big platform, wooden platform was there, and he, they time he used to sit. And from the window, he used to talk to Mandi or boys or anyone. We used to go near him, from the window he used to speak there. Think on board or anything. And at night time he used to go to his side and sleep there. And uh, alternately, 
Every day after I day, I used to give him bath. I used to save. I got him save also. I once saved and kept it there. Was packaged. This is my little fellow. <laughs> so, so I used to stay there and keep it and give him bath there. Then there, you know, to then collect water in the bucket and throw it out. The bath is still on the bed from there. I used to move all the water and everything. And then Baba ordered me in 1938 to build that nice stone and hold that nice tomb with me. The whole no room, I do everything. That's all right. Then at that time it was the rainy season. Okay. And to take the material upon the hill from that gate, at that time here the bar, wire was there, the railway line there. Then in second, uh, then it removed after after second war. And we used to take our material from there, from the river and get you know, the gate. The car goes here the other way. So the material, to take material, the rainy season is very different job. Still, Baba gave me some time. And every time Baba used to come to see how, first he used to sing nonsense. And some material we couldn't get him, we ordered from Bombay. So I don't think Garda and all the things. So that, that took time to come from there. For so one month past like this. And when they came, then Baba came and stayed in the Dagbung in Banaga with home. And every day Baba used to be there. Come on, say, so come on, quick, quick, pain to come. And every time he used to visit, he used to give some order. So one room here, something room, where Kyako was staying. There are the last one of them. I built one room here, we will run a hospital here, and that will better the hospital. We will do that, come on, do, build this thing, build that thing. Every time he used to come and new thing, crop up. So, the day was going passing and so many works to finish. For two hours and passing, he now used to go come up. Because there was Kali Mama, my name Kali Mama lover. He was the engineer. Yeah, after building anything, he was retired, an uh, old man. So, there was a very poor, so he, I, for a tower, he designed me a tower, designed a strike, how to take it. He was designing, I had no idea. But I had to swear, I had to bring a material, do a job, and, but he used to give me an idea, drawing and all these things. But, but then he went like this, because both the ideas were separate, you know. They used to call. So Baba said, I'm not coming, I won't come there. I said, no worry, don't fight and let the boy, I have been married to the boy. I was an old man. Because every old man, every, every day used to change plan. Every two or three days, oh, I'm being busy, come on. We used to get down, break down again. So Baba didn't like that. So Baba said, no, this old man, crack old man. I said, no, I will marry him because Baba was giving me a job and I will do that. And I feel it with that. But Doma, what I did, Doma here, mission here is no good. So we got him from Bombay. Nariman's uncle, Nariman's very Chinese uncle, um, Chinese brother, but never uncle. So he was an engineer, drafting. So he, we call him also. He, he want to build the two mouse there. And the four minas, you know, the four signs, the cross and the trees and all these four signs, he built it from Bombay. They will conquer a very solid thing. You can't, two, uh, two people can't lift it. Very strong thing, heavy thing. Civil community, he prepared that. I said, please get me there and get me some medicine from Bombay who can prepare. So he brought it. And that time Pazi went with him. Pazi said, I will do that because I, I can work with the... Uh, no, with that engineer and Chinese, I will do with him. All right. So he worked with him. The two was 
the mission of the partner was looking at the party we looked at. I will manage this whole thing. I, so you feel, and what happened, what was before, what happened, there are so many lot and very few days left, but we have no, less than five or six days left, and well, there was work, so much work to do. The stack is going up, there was not done so many, the tower job was done a little bit left. And how can you feel the job? Bhavana said, I will try. So what happened? So Bhavana asked and there was a military contract, a big contract, maybe at that what time big contract was going on. Maybe military contract was there. So uh, Sahu said, Bhavana was a very big contract. It was good and material, so many men and carpet, all this. It was just like this. Also, one big And now a few days left and but, it is very slow and he won't be able to finish the thing. I want to go before that time. So, 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 and so then they different, different, different. They left. And Baba left. Next day Baba came back. And then the boss, I asked Eric, who are they? The, 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 the Jukaya. I knew the name. The big country. The Jukaya company. What? I will tell you after. And then I knew, and Baba wanted to speak to them. The next time Baba came, he called me, appeared to me. Because that man said, it won't be able to finish in time. He said, more time. Fifteen is more, fifteen is more extra time. He said, eight days and fifteen more. Then we can be able to finish. It is impossible to finish in this short time. Baba called me. And I don't know what they had to talk. Baba said, Oh, God, be nothing. You want to. Baba called me and asked me, uh, uh, will you be able to feel, Baba? Who one thing? What? Please don't come here, daily. Every time he used to come, he used to cover some new job. If you want this thing done, I will do it. I will try my best. And I will see that. Baba said, anything happen. If I have done, I will ask you to get down, I will come and stay with you. I don't mind, I will stay there. I will, if there is no strike I will do many things. I am finished, I am angry. But you will finish, otherwise I will come. You are that day, I will not to get down. I say, all right, Baba, I will marry. But no, I want one thing. You don't step here. Come on that day. Because I know, because every time you come, you give me something. You say, I want you, but still you will give me. It is your outer. And you know, night and day, what I did, night and day, without sleep. And night and day without sleep? No, no, last few, four days. Without sleep. Because I, extra man, I reply, my extra man, everything. But the place was bad, the tower and the staircase and all these, we can't apply more. Very good. So, for three, four nights, no, so I used to, whole day I was on the field, on the field. My, I used to go to, take lunch, or my lunch was coming up, for food and tea and everything. And double, double tree was stiff, stiff, the man. And I opened a tea shop there. Yes, sir. Give the tea to the workers and myself, come on, and night also. Day and night, big lamp, or to write the lamp, you say, petromic lamp, and we used to feel day and night. In the last moment, what happened? There's a the small library, you know? Library roof now, now this tail. And before, there were like, like the, the black tiles, the red tiles. Red tiles were there. So, this, uh, some short red tiles were finished. And that's what left the room. The library room was without tiles. At two midnight, I sent it, we had a transporter, I sent it right down. Go and remove from the Monday's roof. You know, I was sure of a test. 
Hace cual modo maldito. Se le va el pique pegue. Un centro de fútbol de hermano. Se le va el gol de Naira. Que es nosotros. Si el money. Si el fútbol. Ay, güey. ¿Cuál es el favorito, verdad? No, estuvo sin la perfecta. La cava, la strikes. And. Okay, go on, so uh, please have the answer. Back then, I think there's a few rooms, there's a few left, and some, and this uh, uh, library, you know, library room. Uh, so the, 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 the line of early morning, everything is uh, clean and replaced also, so the flower lights in the house, and keep the room party up. Keep the, all the, I locked everything, And give the key to party. Don't go to get up. Give the key. And he's welcome. And the morning he will come. He said, I'll come on that day. And he has to come now. I've done everything. And he has the key. Then welcome again. I'm going to sleep. And don't wake me up till I get up. I won't run. Now I sleep now for three, four days. Don't wake me up. And for food and everything. He wants a blue mind. He went to sleep. No, baby. I ran to sleep. In the morning, Baba came. He went to the car. They have to pass the village, you know, like gateway. And then they saw the tower. They stopped the car there. They had everything. Everyone in my room, and Muriya, and everybody. They saw the towers there, and everything. All that. Because that's crazy. They went. went inside. On top, everything went. Everything was taken, ready. Everything went. Everything went. Everything went. Also, please, immediately came down. He gave the key and the woman went there. And she finally went all around. See, everything. He came down immediately down. And to see me. He had no idea that I was... So he came, suppose this door. I was sitting in this room. He came near the door. And he was uh, telling Padre Ignaz, Padre And I heard that. In sleep I heard that. Padre Ignaz, Padre Ignaz, sleeping here. موسیقی And I said, no one is going to disturb him. <laughs> But then and then, after two or three days, the, the uh, house for me, you know? What do you call house for me? Yeah. The rest of the house was good. And the all the village was called, and Prasad was distributed, and there were lectures. There were Chinese give lectures, something about praising, about how they were. Then it comes out, war was free, and everything. Bhava Kaurpo asked me to build the garlands. Gales, order gales, and bring it. And I had no idea. Then Mao called me. We were all the gold. We were sitting there. Near the tomb. Uh, there was perfume, there was perfume in the moon now. There was perfume. And near the tomb, uh, our link, our lady was sitting. Mao was sitting. Mindy was sitting down. So all the village was sitting. And Mao was gardening me. Said garden, I have kept with me. I got it in the ring and I bought it in the box here. Well, what did you say when he got it? He said, nice job or... Well, he ended me well done. I'm very happy with you, what you done. And, uh, and so when Sos came to know, he said, then <laughs> he said, you said he was doing your work. He <laughs> said, Sos said, and then he, he, he said, uh, contrary, why don't you move, should you go? So, then he had done it even further, but what was it? No, I know. When Baba wants anything, he himself does. We are medium. But if you put your full heart in it, full, if you do it, 100% put your heart and work it, you will see the work is done. But if you say, Baba says, Baba is working, Baba will do it, and if you half heart will do it, you won't do. You won't be able to do. Also Baba says. But Baba says, for that, You must put 100% in your heart. If you do it 100% you will succeed 100%. Because 
Your Baba said, and Baba is doing it through you. But not we done it. It was Baba done it. I think that way. Because I put my whole heart. I did it. My best. That to see that Baba's work was not go. Baba see that it will be easy. Dhol Kaurna Kuno, Baba did this. And that I also in Randy Kittibo, as Baba was in meeting on this day, Mother, and that was done. Anyhow, I got everything. In the last moment, I used to get. In the very last moment, I got. And the table chair was the last moment. I was in the point that I was over here and there. Got. Because Baba has been in this thing. Because I, I was sincere in my work. I was 100% put my hand and did it. And Baba helped me. And I know, if you bow on anything, he does through you. But you have to. Put sincerely 100% in the heart and do it, and you see it goes up. Not this way. Now, goodbye, thank you. <laughs> Tata! My name is Bhav. <laughs> <laughs> and what more do you want? Just the date. Date? Mm. Today's, I think. Uh, what date is today? 19th. 19th of October 1972. Okay. So in the year 1952, I was in college in Nagpur. I think Nagpur is about 500 miles from here. And I was studying in MA. I was also doing research in MSc. And I have also joined law, three courses altogether. And of course, at that time, I had no idea about spirituality. I did not read any literature, nothing. And I was very much interested in studies. So just before Baba went, uh, one, one month before Baba went to Nagpur, you know, some change took place. All of a sudden I started thinking that what I would do after my studies, what is my aim of life. And you know, then afterwards I was so much confused, then I lost interest in studies. And I was thinking and thinking. And then I thought that it would be better to consult someone who knows at least the mystery of life. So of course I went to Ramakrishna Paramahansa Ashram, which was in Nagpur. Then I went to Sevagram Gandhi's Ashram, you know. But I was not much satisfied. Then I wrote a letter to someone in Rushi case. <laughs> that place is <laughs> place of spirituality, you know. And I received a letter. One Swami, he called me after a month. So I thought that it would be better for me to inform my own people that I am living for good. You know. I was in hostel. I was not, um, my home was quite uh, far away from Nagpur. So I was thinking about that. And at that time, I read in paper that Mahababa was coming to Nagpur to give his darshan. For the first time I heard his name, I did not know anything about him. Then I thought that if Nirvav was coming, I have to go to the Rushi case. Why should I wait? I should go home and inform my people. So I went. And then what happened? After coming from home, when I came back to Nagpur, after a few days, again I read in paper that Nirvav was coming on such and such. I was very much confused. What is this? He was to come on that date and uh, again, uh, again he is coming. What happened to him? I did not know anything. At that time, of course, I did not know. Then I thought it better to go and have his darshan. So, it was Saune, 26 miles from Nagpur. Baba went there on, I think, uh, 28. 26th or 27th, December 1952. And Saunay, of course, I used to go there very often. My sister is there. And people knew me. So I went there. I did not go to my sister's house. I went straight to the place where Baba was to give his darshan. And you know, there was a big crowd, about 25,000 of people. And as soon as I went there, you know, I just forgot the world. People were in queue and it was very long queue. 
so they had made that arrangement that people should sit there and they just push ahead you know so i went there and said and there were many people who knew me so they came to me what are you doing they asked me come here you take you know, take you after us to baba what is that we are you know, here for arrangement but i did not listen to them and they laughed at me because they knew me very intimately anyway i went like this it took at least one hour to go up to baba ji and i would just observe you would just pet someone you would smile at someone and of course you would give prasad to each one but when i went you know you would look that side and give me prasad like this you would look at you no no nothing and you know what happened in one second of course <laughs> i was out because people were there they pushed me ahead so he gave me one banana and i was so mad you know <laughs> i did not take out the skin but ate it the whole <laughs> i don't know what happened so i ate it and i was thinking thinking how to approach baba and to say something i forgot about rushikesh immediately you know forgot everything and it was very difficult to approach baba and i consulted different people i did not know who were with baba and one savak kotwal you know i will uh, tell you about his incident later on so i uh, i asked him whether you are with baba he said yes what do you want i want to say something to baba he said no no it is not possible to write a letter to adi kiran at ahmad nagar <laughs> What what the police thing is it? Baba is here and I should write a letter to Amman. <laughs> what is this? So, but it it was not possible to approach Baba that day. I could not approach, and I did not go to my sister's house. I was there up to ten o'clock in the night, and of course, I contacted different people, but no response. You know, they said no interview is not possible. This is only mass darshan. You just go and have prasad from Baba. That's all. I was disappointed, and later on I went to my sister's house. She also came for Baba's darshan, but she did not see me. <laughs> so at ten o'clock when I went there, of course she found me a changed man. And she was thinking, "What happened to you?" I said, "Nothing." The whole night, you know, I could not sleep. At four o'clock in the morning, I just came out of my room and wanted to go to Baba. Just to try, you know. My sister got up. She asked me, "Where are you going?" I said, "I am just going for a walk." She said, "I would also come along with you." <laughs> What happened at that time? The whole night, only Baba, Baba, his figure before my eyes, could not see. So, of course, I took my sister for a walk. I came back, and then she said, "Now we must have tea and breakfast." I said, "There." Let me go, but where do you want to go? I said I just want to go to meet people there. No, no. She said you have tea and breakfast, everything. So I had, you know, though I did not want, but in order to satisfy her, again I went there. So Baba was in dark bungalow, and nobody was allowed to go there. There was one man from Andhra. He had come to have Baba darshan along with his son. and baba asked him to return to andhra the next day so he was in the bus stand i went there and he did not know me i did not know him and i had a talk with him about baba so he said you know i am quite new here but baba is coming to andhra so you come there and then i would arrange your interview At least <laughs> there is some consolation, <laughs> and you know his little son. He said that I want garland from Baba. So his father said, "Now it is not possible to go to Baba because he has asked me to leave immediately and not to see him." So I thought that it was a nice opportunity. I said, "You just write a letter to Baba, and I would go and give that letter." So he wrote a letter. I went there, and there was one man in the gate. You know, as soon as I went there. He took that letter 
went to Baba, brought one garland. I did not lose you. <laughs> Disappointed, I came back. And those, you know, flowers, um, um, uh, um, that garland, you know, I gave to that man. He was very happy. But I was disappointed. <laughs> and he left. The next day again, Baba gave darshan. I went there. Not possible. Just to... That day also, Baba did not look at me. Again, you know. I was there in the sun, sitting three hours. And then also roaming about here and there just to approach him. But no. And he gave me prasad like this. Did not look at me. But... He was doing something, that's why, you know, just a month before he went there, he changed my mind. So, that day also it was not possible. The third day, he went to Nagpur. I also went along with him. But, you know, there, there was also this, uh, no possibility up until now. Again, I went there, he was giving darshan. I was looking at him from a distance, but no talk, nothing. And at the last, you know, I, one man, of course, he was just moving about doing Baba's work. So I approached him and he said, what do you want? I said, I just want to say something to Baba. But what is that something? He said, I want to join Baba. What are you doing? He said, he asked, I mean MA. MA? Will you know your study? I said, yes, everything. So, he went to Baba and told it Baba. And you know, he was in one bungalow. There was one bungalow, newly built. And it was just near where I resided. But I did not know that. So, that man informed me that you come there at such and such time. So, I went there. Of course, Baba asked me my name and everything. What are you doing? So I said, uh, I am doing MA. So will you do your study and everything and come to me? I said, yes, Baba. Will you obey me? I did not know what was obedience at that time, you know. But I said, yes, 100 percent. I said, yes. So there was one man, of course, he was also from Nagpur, but um, he knew Baba and, um, and he was there. So he told Baba that he should know Baba what is obedience. I said, he knows better than you. <laughs> <laughs> so that part came. Yes. Baba said, "All right, just let me taste." So he said, "Now you become naked and go for bathing on the street. Will you do this?" I said, "Yes." <laughs> Baba looked at that man. <laughs> you know, and at that time, of course, I did not know anything. It was just it came, and. Um, whether I would be able to do this or not, it is, I am not certain about it. But I said yes. So Baba said, all right, do one thing. You do your MA first. How many months are left for your examination? So just two months. So he said, you just appear for the examination and then come to me. So this is a nice opportunity. Then you know, I had that thought. That man had asked me to come to Andhra. Baba was to go there. I asked him whether should I come to Andhra for 15 days. He said, yes, come. So afterwards I went to Andhra, you know, for 15 days, came back to Nagpur, appeared for the examination. And as soon as, you know, examination was finished, I went to stick to Baba to Masuri. You passed it? Yes, the result came out, yes, afterwards I passed.